Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Zombie Company Crusade tutorial walkthrough. My name's Thad David. I'm a uh, Marine Recon Scout Sniper who decided to build a video game. Um, it's been about two years since I started this, and I've had a lot of help along the way. Um, a lot of help, and we'll get into that some more. Uh, I've got a blog going right now, and kind of talking about my process. Um, you guys can check that out on my website. I'll try to link that in the um, comments below. But I wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys the actual game, kind of what we did, why we decided to do certain things. Um, and right now we're beta testing, so it shouldn't be too long before the final release. All right, well, let's jump into it. It's a modern theme, uh, my military background, I couldn't help but, but jump into that. So you're gonna see a lot of that um, sort of Command and conquer -esh style gaming here. Um, this is one of my favorite battle modes. We're still working on quite a few things, but uh, you probably saw the arena mode. This is going to pit one user versus another user in live time. So it's a strategic kind of chess match. Um, I've got a few other ideas for things that I want to do here. Um, I'm definitely open to suggestions. If you guys see anything that, you know, I don't know if you have any ideas, throw them my way. I'd, I'd love to hear about them. Um, right now it's a troop versus troop battle. You can kind of use as many or as little troops as you want. Um, the biggest thing that we have going on right now is troop controls. That's where that really kind of makes that a fun match. Um, you can drop troops on one side, uh, send them up this way, kind of drag his troops to another section, and then drop troops on another side and send uh, you know those troops in a different one and, and kind of strategically uh, win the battle. Let's jump into one of the more traditional battle modes here. Um, I'm sure you've seen something similar to this. One of the new things we added over on the left, you'll see that platoon deployment feature where you can mass deploy uh, troops. You know, kind of each bivouac lines up with a platoon and you'll see they kind of get to dropped in with that helicopter, um, which we thought was a really cool feature to add in. Um, or you can just still do the traditional individual troop deployment as well. Um, another thing we're going to pull up here, which is my favorite feature that we have, is the troop controls down at the bottom right. Uh, you'll see you can select all troops or you can select one at a time. Um, this is great for just strategically defeating an enemy or you always seem to have those one little troop that's not really doing what you want him to do. And you, can, you can grab him individually in battle and just kind of point him in the right direction. Here's Lieutenant Rin. Um, you just rescued her. Uh, she's one of the many heroes that'll be in the game. The heroes will stick with you and they kind of heal up on your base defended and there's different ways to unlock it it's not all about money we wanted to give a lot to you guys here uh, one of them you, know, you get a, a dog by sharing the game on facebook uh, other ones you complete objectives in the game. that'll unlock the, the heroes so we really wanted to focus on the gameplay here and there's the zombies um, after you build up the defensive uh, machine gun nest there uh, one thing i was kind of disappointed I, in the essence of time we had to only put a few zombies in right here, but uh, they'd really look cool. I'm, I'm going to try to, I'll put a, maybe a video at the end here or another video of some of the zombies because they do look really cool when you have a couple hundred zombies surrounding your base attacking you. Let's talk about the engineers now. Um, engineers are kind of what, they are what build everything on your base, so having those available allows you to do other things. One thing that really happy that we put into the game was the ability to add multiple engineers to one project and each engineer that you add decreases the build time by 20 percent one of the last things i wanted to talk about is this campaign mode uh, again in the essence of gameplay um, it's going to be a huge campaign map i wanted to have a strategically done and i found that in um, other games that i've played where you kind of bring your own troops i never i was weighted till my troops were really high level and I never got challenged in these maps because I would bring extremely high level troops into this base that you know only needed level one troops to be a challenge so what we decided to do was take each level and um, assign you a certain amount of troops so no matter what level you're at you can see down there right now I'm kind of messing around with the troop controls showing you um, how that all works how you can move all the troops Yep, so in campaign mode, you will be given a certain amount of troops, and everybody has the same amount of troops, so it's an equal challenge for everyone to get through all of the campaign maps. 
Um, also, while you're waiting for troops to train on your home base, you get to go and mess around on the campaign map without having that wait time, um, which I thought it was just something I would like to see in a game, so I thought you guys might like it as well. Thanks for sticking around this long, uh, checking out the tutorial. Um, it's been a lot of fun showing it to you guys. I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. Um, here's some of that zombie footage I promised you, and uh, some uh, another big attack that I that I had earlier today. So here's here's a big base that I built up. Um, which leads into it getting attacked and eventually destroyed by zombies. Uh, they're pretty powerful in the large numbers. Right now the zombies are coming at you in mass waves, um, like one large wave. But what we're turning it into is going to be a see how many waves of zombies you can survive. So it's, it's going to be a really cool feature. I'm, I'm excited about it. And here's just another another attack, a pretty large attack, actually. Uh, you kind of see everything we've got going on. The missiles, and those bombers drop in. You can drop those anywhere you want. The platoon deployment feature. Um, and then my favorite troop there is the paratrooper that you see falling down. It's, pretty awesome. I'm excited guys, please let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, thanks again for watching, you guys have a great day.